And there were some instances where um, I signed off intelli intelligence um, for counterinsurgency operations, but unfortunately, you know, it's not a pure science, and unfortunately, it resulted in um, some civilians getting killed, and that played on my mind, but only for a very short time because I had to get back to work. Um, there were other instances. Um, one which comes particular to mind is the organisation Doctors Without Frontiers. They were planning to go up into um, Western Province in, called Herat um, to do some work. They approached me through an NGO, NGO to get some intelligence to see whether it was a safe area. Um, the area wasn't um, a safe area. There was no coalition forces, no Afghan forces, friendly Afghan forces. Um, I briefed them as much as I could and said, look, you know, I don't think you should be going. Um, I can't tell you everything, but I strongly advise that you don't go. Um, but unfortunately, um, they did go. And there was a number of them, doctors, surgeons, and support people who were ambushed and killed and tortured. And when that got reported back to me, I felt a, a big burden of guilt. That, Even you know, though you'd told them not to go? Not to go. You know, could I have said anything more to actually persuade them? Um, it was a major incident in Afghanistan, in the Afghan um, period at that time, that the Doctors Without Frontiers actually pulled out of Afghanistan after that incident. Was it a matter of it being, everybody being so new and there just wasn't the intelligence there at that time, or is that just how things are? That's just how things are in a war zone. Um, a lot of people, you know, have said, you know, Afghanistan was a peacekeeping operation. I'm, I'm afraid it's not a peacekeeping operation. It's a combat operation. We had numerous, um, sources for our intelligence and it was very very good but you know you can't get it right every time when i came back from afghanistan in 2004 the end of 2004 early 2005 i was still um in the mode of being in afghanistan very I, it was very hard to readjust difficult to switch off oh yeah yeah i mean you're you're alert 24 hours a day and you just yeah you're very insular and very, um, you separate yourself from everything else. You know, you're just you're thinking about yourself and what you can do. Um, I got disillusioned with the army, and because I didn't think I was at that stage, I didn't think the army thought the worth that I gained, you know, the, the, the knowledge that I gained it could bring back. And so I left the army in, in 2005. Thank you.